Pekingese. The Pekingese is a breed of toy dogs originating in ancient China. The breed has been around for at least 2,000 years and has remained remarkably unchanged in all that time. While there are some interesting legends related to the origins of the breed, given its vintage, factual development history is nearly impossible to trace. It is believed that the characteristic appearance of the breed has its basis on the exalted status of the lion in Lamaist Buddhism. For hundreds of years, only the nobility were permitted to own these lion dogs, and the dogs were even treated as royalty themselves at the height of their popularity. It was in 1860 that the breed first came to England, when five of these dogs were found among the loot from the Imperial Summer Palace. Patronage from Queen Victoria helped the breed witness growing interest from fanciers. The Pekingese reached America via England, and also as gifts given to influential Americans by the Dowager Empress of China. Recognition from the American Kennel Club came as early as 1906, and it has remained a popular companion dog ever since. Time for some rough trivia. Which of these is a term used for dog breeds originating in China that resemble Chinese temple guardian lions? A. Pei Dog B. Fu Dog or C. Fei Dog What do you think? Give it your best guess in the comments below before we get to the answer. Hang on tight and we'll get back to this rough trivia question toward the end of the video. The height range for the adult Pekingese is 6 to 9 inches, with weight reaching a maximum of 14 pounds. It is a dog of compact build and pear-shaped body, with a heavy front and lighter hindquarters. Its image is lion-like, implying boldness rather than daintiness. The double coat is made up of a thick undercoat and an outer coat of long, coarse, straight hair that stands off and forms a mane around the shoulders. The skull is wider than deep, with wide-set eyes, broad lower jaw, and heart-shaped ears set on the front corners of the top skull. A wide range of coat colors is acceptable, but the exposed skin of the muzzle, nose, lips, and eye rims is almost always black. Grooming The Pekingese sheds a lot and requires daily brushing. This also helps prevent matting. The wrinkles above the nose should be cleaned daily to prevent dirt buildup. The coat about the buttocks is prone to soiling and should be cleaned daily to prevent infection. Brushing of teeth, trimming of nails, and cleaning of ears has to be regular. Temperament Pampered like royalty for ages, the Pekingese is a confident, self-important dog, even termed opinionated by its owners. It is devoted to its family, but not particularly demonstrative. It can be playful, but is generally not exuberant enough for children. It is also a bold animal, and suspicious of strangers, making it a good watchdog. These dogs get along quite well with other dogs, cats, or other pets. Training The Pekingese is known for its stubborn nature, and early reward-based training is important for dogs of this breed. Its moderate exercise needs are met easily with a play session indoors or a walk, making it a perfect apartment dog, but it can be a little difficult to housebreak and requires patience. Health Life expectancy for the Pekingese is 13 to 15 years. While a healthy breed, there are some concerns that arise because of its body structure. These can include trauma, breathing problems, and heat stroke. Heart-related issues and skin allergies are also some commonly occurring problems. Regal in heritage and manner, the Pekingese is a good-natured and confident dog. Its grooming and training might take some patience, but it gives back with oodles of loyalty and affection. Find out if the Pekingese would be a good addition to your home. Now you can visit brooklynscorner.com to take our quiz and find out which dog would be the best match for you. Let's get back to the answer to our rough trivia question. Foo dog is the term used to refer to dogs from China that resemble temple guardian lions. Lion dog could be the English translation, and some other breeds that fall in this category include the Chow Chow, the Shar Pei, and the Shih Tzu. That does it for the Pekingese. If you enjoyed this Dog Facts 101 video, be sure to subscribe and paw that thumbs up button. Then go ahead and check out some of our other videos or fun activities on our website. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.